Hi, and welcome to Digital Tech Reviews and Tips, guys. Today, I'm going to be unboxing the relatively new mount by GoPro, the three-way, as well as some stickers right here. No, I'm not really going to be unboxing the stickers, guys. Sorry for those looking for that unboxing. Look elsewhere. But yeah, GoPro just sends stickers along, so props to you, GoPro. I'll stick them somewhere. Anyways, now we can get to the mount itself. Uh, right off the bat, guys, it retails for about 70 bucks, which is pretty pricey, but you are getting a mount that is incredibly nuend named and it does have no, it does have a lot of uses. It is pretty useful. It doesn't do everything great, but it does a lot of things. So I think if you're willing to spend 70 bucks on it, it is definitely worth looking at. On the back here, they have a description of the three main ways it can be used, camera grip, extension arm, or tripod. Yeah, so let's get to opening it. Uh, I just want to thank GoPro for not permetically sealing this one. They, a lot of their products are pretty, pretty well packaged. But this one was fairly easy to open, as you can see right here. And in the package, we have, along with the main three-way thing, a thumb screw for mounting the camera to the different mounting options that you have with this accessory. Let's get a close-up of that thumb screw, Chris. Isn't it just beautiful? Oh, love the looks of it. Anyways, now here we can see the GoPro three-way mount itself. And as you may have noticed or have read other places, it is pretty much entirely plastic, except for the metal hinges and hinge pins, I guess is what you call them, and the rubber handle. So the three-way has a GoPro logo there on the end of the extension arm and also on the handle itself. And it is fairly easy to extend into the selfie-taking position of an extension arm like that. And there you have the full extension. And then you can also easily collapse it down. It has this little locking kind of push button which locks it unless you push it in and then you can fully have the full range of motion and by just taking out that little screw there or a thumb screw you can easily have the camera grip which is a really helpful feature because um, you don't always need that full extension arm ability and sometimes just having it on a grip is very helpful now the tripod is housed in this camera grip and you just unscrew it like that and you can actually put the camera grip back on top to raise your camera up a little higher if you want to but it does get a little unstable so it's not the best thing so having to fit into the base of the camera grip the tripod is very small very light but it seems pretty durable and because it's made of plastic it the whole thing flexes so it's unlikely to break unless you stepped on it or something like that and one thing that's very cool about it is because it's so small even if you don't put it in the camera grip itself, it's also nice. You can just put it in your pocket or something so you can easily get to it because it folds up very small and it's very light. So you can almost forget about it there. And it just makes so you don't have to always unscrew it and take it out of the base of the camera grip. Now, when the GoPro is mounted directly on the tripod itself, it does sit pretty low to the ground. And, you know, it's not the best tripod in the world so far I've found in its use. It's not as good as, for example, the versatile Joby Gorilla Pod, which I really love. But it is a good tripod overall, and it does its job of holding the camera steady. Which really is kind of what I found with the whole three-way mount itself. You know, the extension arm isn't the best. The grip isn't the best. The tripod really isn't the best tripod out there for your GoPro. However... They all come in a very small package that easily you can throw in a backpack and at a moment's notice unfold to get a three foot or so extension arm or pop off the extension arm itself and get a grip or slide out that tripod and have a tripod. And then you also get the wild sky high imagination of possibilities that you can create with all those parts. And that's really what's so great about this product and why I would recommend it to you, even with a $70 price tag. So if you guys have any questions, just leave them down below. I'm on Facebook or Twitter. There's a link to the product down below. And as always, guys, have a nice day.